everyone and welcome to Conversations with Candy. It's my first video after of course my introduction video and um, today I haven't really done a whole lot. It's been kind of a laid back day which is nice. It's kind of raining outside and they keep saying that the west part of the U.S. is in a horrible drought so I'm really grateful that we have the rain and you know I had like a late lunch and I'm gonna be going out shopping after this. I think I'm gonna go to Ulta and I'm looking for a red lipstick. <laughs> Which you wouldn't think would be super hard because there's so many different reds out there, but I'm looking for more of like a specific red, you know? Something that's kind of vintage-y, like a 40s vintage red with a little bit darker, you know? There's always those fire engine reds or the orangey reds or the pinky reds. I'm looking for like a red red, but more like dark, a little bit darker in color. So if anybody has any good suggestions for a beautiful red lipstick that would look good on my complexion, please. Leave your suggestions down in the comment box and I will definitely look into that. Um, so today I thought it would be really fun to discuss childhood memories. I figured since it's the first video maybe we should start at the beginning and you know get to know each other. So I grew up in Southern California and I lived there most of my life and recently I've been living in Utah <laughs> for about four years and it's really different here than it was in California. but. Um, I grew up with two siblings, a brother and a sister, and I'm the oldest of both, and I feel like I had a pretty good childhood. I wouldn't say it was a perfect childhood, but then again, what childhood is, but it was really fun. I mean, we did some really stupid stuff and some fun stuff and crazy stuff, so let me kind of get into that and tell you a little bit about my childhood and my life, and you know, toward the end, maybe I can pop some questions to you guys, and we can kind of start a discussion down in the discussion box below and I'd love to hear about your lives and your experiences and you know what it was like for you. <laughs> so my sister and I are pretty close in age, we're about a year and a half apart and um, we got bikes one year, Barbie bikes. <laughs> and for some reason we thought it'd be really funny to tie our bikes together and have one person pull the other person so I guess one person wouldn't have to pedal. Um, yeah, didn't really work out. I think we used a jump rope tie both bikes together and yeah the other person <laughs> spike kind of fell over because obviously both of us were not pedaling and it took down the first person's bike and we were just in a big child piled up jumbled up mess um, lying on the ground <laughs> so I don't know why I think that's funny and why that's the first memory that kind of comes to my mind but I don't know when your kids sometimes weird things happen or Things, I don't know, you just don't quite think things through, you know what I mean? It's just, I guess, the way that it is. Um, some other funny things, or interesting things, I guess you could say. Ah, okay, so I was kind of a daring child, I guess you could say. Sometimes I got crazy thoughts in my mind that most people would be like, what? And for some reason, I guess I thought those thoughts were perfectly normal. So, um... It was after a church event and my mother was loading us all into the car. She had a little tiny um, hatchback Toyota Tracel car. And so she, I was the first one into the car and I opened the car door on the other side and kind of snuck out the back because my brilliant, brilliant idea, brilliant, <laughs> uh, was to basically, I thought it'd be fun to ride on the back of a hatchback. I thought it'd be kind of crazy and cool and fun and gosh, how old was I? <laughs> like seven I think. I think I was seven. Anyway, so she loads my siblings into the car um, and she didn't realize that I had snuck out and I had gone around the car so she couldn't see me. So like I'm sitting on the bumper of the car and she's backing out and she starts driving down the highway and I'm holding on to the back of this Toyota Tracel standing on a little tiny bumper like this thick, you know, I'm sure, I, I hopefully you, you know what a little tiny hatchback car bumper looks like. And all that was there to hold on to <laughs> was a back plastic mirror. And it was very smooth. And so I'm holding on to this for dear life. My sister has turned around in the back seat and she's streaming tears down her face crying, probably thinking I'm going to die. At this point, I'm thinking I'm going to die too. And my mom starts screaming. <laughs> freaking out of course as any more mother would and you know I remember getting in big trouble for that one and she pulled off the side of the highway and luckily I was okay and I was totally fine but I have no idea what possessed me 
to come up with that or to do that or to think of that. Um, it was just, yeah, one of those childhood, childhood things. <laughs> um, my brother, I, I know I've talked a little bit about my sister and some of the things I've done with my sister, but my brother, <laughs> when we were a little bit older, uh, probably, I think I was in high school and he was junior high or almost in a junior high, like maybe sixth grade. Um, he was really into WWF wrestling. I don't know why. It's so staged and hokey, but that was his thing. And we would sit and watch WWF wrestling together. And I'm not really into that, but he was really into that. And that was really important to him. And so we would watch it together. <laughs> and one day I had this, this big, giant, fluffy teddy bear that I'd had since like Oh gosh, I was probably like nine or ten, and I called it Nana. It was my favorite bear, and I love that bear. Well, anyway, my Nana disappeared. I couldn't find Nana anywhere. And so I come up to my brother, and I'm like, have you seen Nana? And he was like, no, I haven't seen her. And then, like a couple days later, she magically appeared in my room again. Come to find out later, um, he had been using my bear to practice his wrestling moves on. He would lay her on the bed and, you know, jump up the air and give it the elbow or smash the chair with it and, you know what I mean, practicing his WWF wrestling moves on my teddy bear. And my brother, he is a total prankster. I love him so much and he's very much into the comical voices and, you know, Pinky in the Brain, like, can I have some more, Mum? Oh, and she, those of you who don't know Pinky in the Brain, it's uh, an American cartoon from back in the day on Animaniacs. I don't know, some of you might be too young for that, and some of you might be from other countries and be like, what is she talking about? But it was just a really funny cartoon with mice, and one mouse is like a brain and wanted to take over the world, and then was kind of tall and stupid, <laughs> and was just very, yeah, anyway. So he would always, you know, do different voices, like he would do all of her twists, and he's always done different pranks. And one thing I remember from my brother that he... <laughs> kind of framed our dog and um, I feel bad about that to this day <laughs> and we didn't find out until like 10 years later. Um, we were preparing to have missionaries over at our home for dinner um, and my grandmother had gone to one store and then she'd gone to another store and she'd left us kids in the car for the 10 minutes it would take her to run to the second store and my grandmother had bought a big loaf of French bread and it was in the back seat. Well, unbeknownst to us at the time, and like I said, we didn't find this out until years later, my brother had <laughs> gotten into the loaf of bread and essentially hollowed out the middle, leaving the outer shell of the bread. And he had left a few little crumbs on the floor for our dog, our Chihuahua, Kista, to, to eat. So my grandmother comes back to the car, opens up the back of the van here, and she sees the hollowed out bread loaf and the dog standing there wait, wagging its tail with like the breadcrumbs all over her chin. And I mean, you know, <laughs> you obviously come to the conclusion that the dog must have eaten the bread. And so poor Kista got yelled at and <laughs> didn't get any dinner that night. And yeah, 10 years later we find out that lo and behold, it wasn't the dog, it was my brother. So those are just a few of my many, many childhood memories some of my funnier ones and crazier ones. Um, so I'd like to hear about your childhood memories. Like what fun memories do you have with your siblings? Do you have siblings? Do you have fun memories that you, trips or things that you've done with your parents? Um, what crazy things have you done or funny things or what things do you remember most, you know? Because when I think back at my childhood, it's, it's really funny, you, you know, as, I think an adult, you think as a parent, there's certain things your kids will remember, like if they don't get this toy for Christmas or if we don't set, celebrate St. Patrick's Day or something like that, that, you know, your kids aren't going to remember things. And oftentimes it's like the things that are just so normal and everyday that we end up remembering, not so much the things that were kind of like planned out so we would remember. Anyway, I hope that this conversations with candy has put a little sweet in your week and I'd love to hear thoughts um, on childhood memories or on lipstick or anything else that you might want to tell me down below in the description box or I guess the conversation box this is, like I said is my first YouTube video so forgive me if I've got it all mixed up anyway and if you have any thoughts on things that you'd like to talk about with me or have me talk about with you um yeah just leave it down below and I'd love to hear it 
Have a great week, guys. Bye.